Hello, Jesse Good Eurobricks here, back for another thoughts video, and this isn't really a thoughts video. I mean, of course, it is a thoughts video, but it isn't because it's more of a rant video. And if you remember, actually back in October 2012, I made a rant video about the LEGO Legends of Chima Wave 1 sets. Uh, well, basically, I'm going to be making a rant video about the LEGO Legends of Chima. I guess you could say, if you don't count the speed doors, it's wave 3, um, and that's the January 2014 wave sets, because to be honest, these look really, really bad, and you guys will see why. Of course, this is just my personal opinion, so if you're going to go on to the comments and say, you suck, your opinion suck, blah, 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 and just say that and like not even warrant your points, uh, don't even comment. Uh, but if you're going to say, you suck, because... Your opinion on this set is wrong because of blah, 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 like if I misquote information or something, you could say that, okay? And, I mean, if you say you suck and you think I, I suck, then sure, whatever. Um, but we could debate this in the comments. I would really love if you guys would just say, I don't agree with you for this opinion, for your opinion on this set or whatever, uh, because... This set has this, 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 and this and that. And we can have a civil debate in the comments. I'm not saying nobody should buy these sets. Nobody likes them because they suck. I'm just saying my opinion, I don't really like them. Um, well, I said they suck, but I don't like most of them for the most part. Uh, and now let's just get into the sets, okay? So remember, if you're going to comment or anything, like just like without warranting your opinions, don't even do it because you're just going to look like an idiot. But I digress. Because these are actually from bowl.com, B-O-L, I believe, doc, not, I don't think it's .com, but it's, I'll put the link in the description for them. And they're from Walmart Canada. So, yeah, you can see, the Legends Beast ones are from Bowl because you, uh, like, they don't have, like, the piece count or stuff like that. Uh, while some of the sets are from Walmart Canada and even one of the speeder sets. Uh, so let's get straight into this. Now, the Lion Legend Beast, this one right here. What do I think of this set? Well, I actually do not like it. Um, these Legend Beasts, I think, aren't like the worst it, like worst thing about this January 2014 wave, but they're not really impressing me. Uh, this Lion Beast in particular, I don't really like it. Because first off, um, what was I going to say? Oh, well, you get the same Laval from 2013. And now, actually, I have to say, I do think this is an extremely smart move of LEGO because earlier this year, in January 2013, or I think it was January or February. Whenever I went to the Toys R Us event to like uh, get those Toys R Us, like it was like a speeders event or whatever. A lot of kids really wanted Laval, but Laval only came in more expensive sets. Like he came in the Ultimate Speedor Battle, which was a thirty dollars set, um, and he came in uh, Laval's Royal Fighter, which was a forty dollars set. And so they were all like, expensive. But this one in particular, I believe, is going to be $10. The U.S. prices aren't confirmed, but just looking by the box size, uh, looking by the design, I think they're going to match the uh, mini fighters for Star Wars, which I believe are going to be $10, and then just make these $10. And that's actually a really smart move because a lot of kids really wanted Laval, and this is the cheapest way to get them. And I think they should have, I'm just saying, this is just a little bit too late because they should have done this earlier in 2013. I mean, yeah, I'm probably help sell some of those more expensive sets, but I could like assure you that a smaller set with him that's around ten to twelve dollars would have sold much better than one of those than like Laval's World Fighter. And actually Laval's World Fighter I heard got cancelled early in production, so it's actually a little bit more rare. I haven't seen it around because it had it suffered a lot of production errors. That's just an interesting little tidbit that's unrelated. Uh, but I don't really like the build of this line, but I can see this set as a huge seller, like I said. Uh, because I just, I don't know, I don't like how he looks with the armor and stuff like that. But I'm probably just going to skip to this one, though, because you can see there's a few of these Legend Beasts I actually like. And you can see it out of the box right there. I don't know, this one just doesn't really settle with me. And it's not one of the worst Legend Beasts, because I really like, there's another one you guys will see very soon. Uh, but this one, I actually, I don't like the face on this one, but I really like this one besides everything else. Like, I don't like the head part right there. And you get Eris, and I already got Eris, and this is, again, I don't know why they're using the 2013 versions. Uh, sans this little shield right there, because they didn't use a shield. Uh, because it's just, it's really odd to see them not using, like, the updated versions. But I kind of, I'm... I'm thinking about it, and maybe it's to sell the updated versions in other sets, uh, which is kind of a scumbag move, but whatever. I guess these will be around for a while, and it'll always be the way to get the regular forms of the minifigures that appear in these sets. But anyways, you can see, uh, it comes with Eris, like I said, and I really do love this build um, for her for the eagle's body, body. I mean, I don't love it, but like I think it's really cool. Uh, but the head just looks too small, and I don't I don't like that. But I always like building like birds and Lego and stuff like that. And I think this is probably my favorite 
Legend Beast. Uh, because there's like no really annoying stickers or anything like that. It's just kind of just an eagle body and stuff. Uh, maybe I'll swap out the head or something like that. But knowing me, I don't. I never do that. I always say, okay, maybe I'll I'll edit this build. But I just always leave the build, um, the sets I build in their pure form. Uh, but nevertheless, you can see out of the box right there. This one I think is one of the worst. I do not like how this one looks. Uh, I think it's the best they could do with a gorilla, but. It just looks a little bit odd to me. Uh, he is—he looks a lot, really like really scrawny on the bottom, but his top part right there is like all built, and then his face is too blocky for me. But like I said, this is like the best they could do with making it, you know, not like a, not like a construction figure or whatever. Of course, these are all using the new, I believe, the new ball joints for. Uh, for Mixels with those right there, uh, which is going to be interesting to get those maybe a little bit early because Mixels come in March, uh, but still, I don't really like this one, and Gorzan's going to be such a common figure, I mean, this one in particular, because the new version isn't really that, uh, well, I mean, the new version for like Aeris and Laval aren't really that updated besides like the breastplate and stuff and printing on the torso, uh, but we're getting a lot of Gorzan, period, it's just kind of interesting, no other gorillas, and I think that's a huge flaw, but you'll see me rant about that maybe a little bit more later when I get to the much more worst uh, regular sets. And you can see right there, I, I just, I don't like this build really. I think it just looks too weird. Not going to pick this one up, unless like I always say, if I find it on clearance, but that goes without saying. Crocodile Legend Beast, uh, this one I do not really like either. Oh, <laughs> I mean, wow, this is like, there's too many cheese slopes, I think. Um, if you see right there, it's like, it just really ruins it. And then his body is like all weird and stuff like that. And you can see out of the box right there. But of course you do get Cragger in here, which isn't the most common minifigure, so this is probably going to sell. And Cragger is always a really popular guy because he's like the, he was the main villain, now he's good. So yeah, um, very uninteresting to me going to skip on this one. Ooh, this one is pretty bad too. And this is the Wolf Legend Beast. And you can see this uh I don't ugh. I don't know. I don't like the like the little uh, legs or whatever. It really just gives me, it, it puts me off the wrong way. Maybe it would have been cool to get a, like a little bit more of a curve on the legs right here, but I don't really see how they could do a really good like wolf or dog creature at ten dollars. Um, but yeah, I do not like this one. Um, but I believe, is that Aura's? I'm not even sure. Uh, that's, I guess it's cool to get him in a cheaper set. I don't really know. I don't really care. I'm just going to skip on this one. Okay, and now since we're done with the Legend Beast, right, because there's only five, interestingly enough, because there's five main retail building sets, five Legend Beasts, and then five Speedware sets, uh, but then there's two special edition sets, so that's why I said main retail sets. Uh, but now let's get on to the sets, and these are not good. Uh, but this one, the first one is Braptor's Wing Strike, and, or sorry, Wing Striker. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You can see the updated Eris right there, who also comes in another set that we haven't seen pictures of, which is Spinlin's Cavern or something, Spinlin's Cave, uh, which I am actually kind of anticipating, and we got a description of this. Sorry, I didn't report this, but it was on another site, and we got a, basically a description of the set, and it comes with Eris and Rogan. Rogan, Rogan, Rogan. I'm just going to say Rogan, but is it Rogan? I don't even remember. Like I said, I, I don't watch the TV show anymore because I just gave up on that, uh, but that set in particular, the description made it sound like it was mostly Rogan's vehicle and then like a little bit of a lair, which really disappoints me, and it's going to be $40. Uh, but this is the cheapest, or the I think it's the only other way besides the speeder set to get uh, Eris, and it's going to be interesting to see how this is priced. It looks like a $15 price, uh, which is going to match the speeder set, which is kind of interesting. Uh, but you can see Braptor right there. Uh, I do not like the bats, okay? I don't like the, how the bats look at all. I think they look really kind of ugly. Um, dare I say too cartoonish? But I say too cartoonish compared to the look of some of the other animals because uh, while they aren't like, you know, they're not accurate or whatever, uh, these just look really goofy um, compared to the other ones. And so I, I don't think it really fits the mood or the tone that's set with the other, like, uh, other, you know, Chima animals. Uh, so I do not, I'm not digging the look of the bats. And then with that added, you can see, ugh, I do not like the look of this vehicle, period. I think it looks, it's like a really odd build. Uh, it's supposed to look like a bat, but it doesn't, it looks like half bat, half, I don't even know, half insect, spider, I, I don't know. 
Uh, but this back part is just so ugly. And then this front part doesn't even make sense. So, like, I don't like this whole thing altogether. And it just looks super odd. It's more of a mechanized vehicle. But it's just altogether, it just, it does not, like, it just, it looks too cluttered and stuff like that. Like, there's too much stuff going on. Uh, the back is just too small, and then the front has all these wings. Um, so that, it just looks so odd to me. And that's how I feel with a lot of these vehicles, which you'll see later. Now, I'm guessing this will be $15. Uh, so for some people, they're really going to dig this build because, if I remember correctly, this, I don't think, I think Braptor is exclusive to this set. Uh, but still, I don't like this set at all. And the main problem with these sets that I'm seeing is that, well, they, they're they not really an improvement compared to January 2013's wave, uh, which I did not like at all. I, I don't really see these to be any better. And that kind of sucks because all of them are vehicles, and besides the two that are exclusives that we haven't seen, and even one of the exclusives has a description that sounds like it's ma mainly just a vehicle. Um, and they're just, the figures to me are uninteresting, but I can see the figures selling some of the sets. Uh, but the builds are just so like yucky to me and I know that's kind of weird it's coming from the guy who doesn't like Chima vehicles so go figure but that, those are just my opinions but I just I don't think these are much of an improvement from January 2013 and that's kind of sad really I think maybe include more complex vehicles that don't always look like a uh, animal or whatever and then maybe include some like you know include some building sets or not really building sets but play sets uh, for the main releases with some vehicles um, but nope the only two play sets we get are exclusive sets, and one of them seems to be more vehicle based and like separate pieces. That's really disappointing to me. Like, that's like really disappointing. And this is blurry because this one wasn't on Walmart Canada. Uh, but yeah, I do not like this little part right here. Uh, this little build right here, I guess, is pretty cute. It's just a little add on, and you can see they're using that piece right there, which is new for 2014. It appears in some front sets from what I've seen. Uh, so yeah, I do not like this build. I I think Eris, uh, she comes in the speeder set, so she's not even rare. Braptor, I don't like the bats at all. And so yeah. <sighs> Lovato's Twin Blade. This set, I don't know. I think this is like probably one of the worst builds. Uh, but on the other hand, both of these, uh, both of these minifigures are exclusive to this set. Which is kind of interesting. Uh, because Lovartus... He is, he's going to be actually in a, his Lavardus' Outland base, and of course I cannot pronounce his name. Uh, so I guess he isn't really exclusive, but again, we haven't seen how that looks, so I don't even know how they're going to pull that out. But he is essentially, from what I've seen, uh, compared to the other guy, uh, to how Shadowwind appears, he is Shadowwind. Again, I didn't check up on the show or whatever, because I just, I want to distance away from that show. Uh, but he also comes, if you count that, if you count him as Shadowwind, uh, Shadowwind comes in a speed or a set, which is, looks to be $20. Uh, so he's not really exclusive, and plus, like I said, he has a set named after him, so he's most likely going to appear in that set, but no description for that set has come out yet, so we don't know if he is. Uh, but it's called Lavartus' Outland Based, or sorry, Lavartus. I can't even say it. Um, but I just, this build is just so odd. It, it just, I get it, they're trying to try something new, but it just, it looks, it doesn't mend well. Um, I gotta give it props, though, because it doesn't look totally like a lion, uh, except for the little, I guess you could say those tooths and the little eye right there, if you count that as an eye, but that's really just a plate. Um, but yeah, I just, this looks so weird. It's like a long vehicle. You can see it right there. It's, it's like a long vehicle, and then it has these two propellers, which um, I do, actually, I do like the color scheme, because it's weird to see a color scheme of this in such uh, like a, a flying set, because we're not really used to that. Um, but I just, I don't like how it looks like the actual body itself. The propellers could have been really cool if it was more of a, I don't even know how they could have pulled that off. Maybe like a blimp set, but even that, like, it wouldn't make sense. Uh, so I don't think they could pull off the propellers. They just like, oh look, there's propellers coming out of the side. I guess that's okay. Um, so maybe I'm just looking at a really bad set and then, oh look, it's that. So yeah, this just is not like interest me at all and the more I look at it look at that it does look like a lion so there you go vehicles that look like other animals January 2013 much but whatever you know that's that's the style Chima right I can't complain right um, and then you can see this dude right here what's his name he is actually exclusive to the set Scudder and out of all these little scorpions 
Um, and there's only a few. So uh, I think he looks the best, but even he doesn't really look like a really great minifigure. Uh, but I just, I kind of like his helmet in black. But then again, he has to have all this like scorpion writing, so he can't really be used for other stuff. And then these two big teeth, which I have to say about the helmets for the spiders and the scorpions and the bats, you know, they, they're they well colored and they're well molded. Uh, but the design just does not look good. Uh, but they are, like, I do like how they're complexly colored. They kind of remind me of the Simpsons figures where they have lots of different colors and stuff like that. Which is impressive, but the look of them just doesn't meld well with me. Um, but I'm guessing this will be maybe, tw this is going to be like $20. Uh, and that price, I don't know. Or they could pull an Eglor, or sorry, Eglor's, uh, what was it, Eglor's twin dual bike or whatever. And make this $25, which would be really bad. Uh, but it looks to be $20, and I guess for two minifigures that are more uncommon, I mean, one of them is exclusive, but one of them is most likely going to come in another set, uh, I guess it's a good deal for Chima fans. But, like, me, myself, I really hate that vehicle, and I don't see really any Chima fans liking it. But I did see a few on Eurobricks, but I've seen some people actually on my YouTube like videos complain about this vehicle in particular, so that's kind of interesting. So yeah, that's that's just how I feel about this set. I just I think the vehicle looks so ugh, just the body of it, but the propeller part is decent because the propellers are sticking out from the side, which is you know it's something that I don't really see often, but just the body, ugh. And so yeah, I just have to say the best part of this set would be this dude right here, but even he isn't really that impressive, or he's impressive, but he doesn't really look cool to me. But that's just to me. I'm not the target demographic, so you could say that with any of these sets. And then there's this set. I have to say, just a personal opinion, guys. This is the worst set I've seen of 2014, just period. There's, to me, there's no saving grace of this set. There's nothing good about this set. And that's kind of really sad. You can say, oh, well, Gorzan comes in this set, and he's... No, but he also comes in a new speeder set, in, his, in this new version. Sorry about that. Like always, my camera ran out of memory, and by my camera, I mean my iPhone 4S. It always runs out of memory. Back to this, Baratus' Spider Stalker. There is nothing redeeming to me about this set. There's nothing redeeming at all. Uh, the minifigures, the two minifigures aren't even exclusive to this set, and come in two much cheaper sets, which are both speedier sets. Okay. I'm going to get prepared for this. The actual build right here, if you look at it, it takes up, first off, it's going to take up too much space, much like the other spiders. Second off, personally, this is all my personal stuff. I'm not going to say set in stone, Lego should never make this worst set. This is just, I think it's the worst set to me of 2014. Uh, because if you look at it, like much other spiders, which I don't like spider builds at all. Like, spider builds are literally my least favorite builds. And you may say, oh, well, there's not much spider sets. Well, I own, like, a lot of spider sets. I can name a few. Uh, we got that one from Harry Potter from 2002. I have that set. Uh, we got the Shilob Attacks, which I have that set. And we have the Attack of Mirkwood Spiders, which I have that set. Out of all those, I think my favorite is Attack on Mirkwood Spiders. Attack of Mirkwood Spiders. Uh, because the spiders in those are actually little spiders. So they, they don't take much space. And even though they're kind of annoying to build because I hate building it with these, uh, they do have a lot of posability. And like I said, they don't take much space up because they're just kind of small. They have small legs. Now, Shield Attacks, well, I did like the figures in that set because you get Sam, and Sam is, like, one of my favorite characters from Lord of the Rings. Uh, and you have Golem, Smeagol, and, which is exclusive to that set and with that expression. And you got Frodo, of course. Uh, I think the build for the Shield, while it is accurate, it just takes up too much space. And this is maybe my review. I didn't say that, but this is, like, a year, more than a year later because... It's been literally sitting there this whole time. It takes up too much space, and it always falls over on its legs. I can see the same thing happening here. Now, either two things. First thing, either these legs are going to bend, uh, or they're going to kind of stand up like this. If they stand up like this, I think that is... There's no, I think this is going to be literally like one of the worst sets in the most recent years. Uh, because literally there's going to be no way to like move them except move them side and side. And then they're just going to always take up space. Uh, if they do bend, while it won't be as bad as if they didn't bend, uh, still it would probably fall over and stuff like that. Like it usually does because of weight on this one. In, in particular, the weight right here, 
you can see uh, it's going to be pretty light, so that's kind of weird. Um, except this back part right here, and this back part could load up, and that's literally the only play feature it looks like of this set, which you could shoot these up. Now, there may be a play feature if you move it to walk, uh, but even then, it's just going to take up so much space, and it's going to be like so clunky to hold. Uh, it's so cluttered with this small little part right here. You got this small little build, but you got these big, big, big uh, little legs or whatever, and it takes up so much space. Uh, so that's why I think this is one of the worst. And I th dare I say the worst Chima set ever. Out of all the sets that are out. Well, out of all the building sets. Uh, I think this is maybe the worst, not really set-wise, but build-wise. Because the build on this one's so ugly. And even set-wise, the minifigures in this set, like I said, both of them come in cheaper sets, and they're both speeder sets. Uh, Gorzan comes in this, this same Gorzan. He comes in two speeder sets, okay? So, mind you, there's two ways to get him, uh, which is already disappointing. Uh, but he also comes in a speeder set that comes out the same time this comes out, uh, which is the Banana Bash or something like that. And Sparatus comes in that really, really, uh, that, I don't like the build on it, but it's, a, it's another speeder set, which we'll get to later. <sighs> now... Uh, the Sparatus minifigure is well made, okay? I think it's the printing's good and stuff like that. It's impressive. It kind of reminds me of this, uh, the Simpsons minifigures. But when it comes to the actual look of the spiders, I don't know why they're doing spiders, okay? They did this the same with snakes in, I'm going to tell you, year two of Ninjago was my least favorite year. Out of all the four or four years that we got in Ninjago, uh, year two is my least favorite year because I didn't, I don't like snakes, okay? I don't like spiders. I don't like scorpions, okay? I don't really like non mammals, uh, but even then, like, I like the crocodiles, and of course crocodiles aren't mammals, uh, but for the most part, I'm going to say for the most part, okay, because there's, of course there's always exceptions and stuff like that, uh, but, like I said, I don't know why they're doing it, I, but then again, snakes, uh, year two of Ninjago was probably its best-selling year, and those were snakes, uh, so they're kind of doing a similar thing, but not doing snakes, um, and I just think they look, I like, I'm like, why are they doing spiders, like, do... Return of the Evil Wolf, well, you know, I guess it's good to change stuff up. They should have had more wolf sets, you know? Like, they have, uh, they don't have any wolf sets, they don't have any crocodile sets, sands a few, like, they have the Legend Beasts, which is the only wolf set, uh, but for crocodiles, they only have Cragger, which Cragger comes in the big set, and then he comes in the Legend Beast set. So it, it just it doesn't make much sense. They're focusing on a lot of these villain vehicles, which look ugly, like, in terms of this one and the next one, which you'll see, they just don't look good at all. To me, at least. Uh, it would have been cool if maybe they did more Rhino sets instead of these spider sets. And, you know, that kind of sucks after not doing Rhino sets. And we'll get to Rhino set later. So, yeah, that's just how I feel about this set. I think it's just, it's like, there's so many reasons why it's worse. The price on this one is it could either save it or kill it. Because if it's 20 bucks, then I would say, okay, I would understand why people would be buying it. Because I'm going to stay as far away as possible from this set. But I could understand, okay, why people are buying it. But if it's $30... Why would you buy the set? I would like, I don't get why people would buy this set. <sighs> because you could literally get two speeder sets which are cheaper and smaller. And even those builds, as bad as they are, they look better than this build right here. Now you may say, okay, well the pieces of the set are good. Uh, look at the shield of attacks. Like that had a high piece count for the price. Uh, because there's a lot of small technic pieces, okay? And these are like common pieces. These will be these little pins right here. Let me see. I have them always on the side. Little pieces like that. I could assure you that um, the actual big pieces are going to be like maybe a few bricks, and then the rest will be just technic pieces. And so, if you're kind of not really a technic builder, I wouldn't really see why you would buy this for pieces. Even if you are a technic builder, like these pieces are going to be so common. Even a little build, they don't even show in the second picture I have of it. Uh, but that doesn't really even save it because it's just literally it's just a spider web, like nothing even special there. You do get that little grass part. Which is, it's so sad that that's the best part of the set besides the minifigures. And even the minifigures aren't even good to this set at all. So whatever. Like I said, I don't like spiders. Uh, Gorzan, he comes in a speeder set as a Spiratus if you do like spiders. So whatever. And you can see it right there. It looks so ugly. <laughs> yeah, it looks like you could move it because it's it's right there. But even then, like, if you push it down that way, it's just going to take up more space. I mean, whatever. It's just, it's not, it's not a set that I will be, like, anticipating. Of course, that's all my thoughts, okay? So, just because I say it's the worst set, doesn't mean it's the worst set ever. 
Now on to Rogan's Rock Flinger. Dare I say this is the best or the worst. Uh, I actually think this set is like maybe below average. Maybe just, just, just reaching the average mark 7 out of 10. Maybe just reaching that. And I know, okay, that's not average, but that's like grade point average. As 7 out of 10 is a C for me. And of course you got F, D, C, B, and A. Uh, so 7 out of 10 directly translates to a C, and then that's average for me for grade points. But, you know, whatever. This is this set. And you got, this part looks actually looks decent because I do like the coloring right there. I do like the blue. I do like the wheels. <laughs> this part right here. The head. I think they screwed up the head. Because it's like too small, but I understand why. Because it wouldn't build. But then that just looks ugly. So it kind of ruins the whole vehicle. And if you don't put the head there, it's going to look weird. So like, it's kind of... It's stuck, you know? It's like it's like a wound, and you can't take it out, because if you take it out, you'll die. And that was a really kind of crappy analogy, and I, I'm sorry if I offended anybody by that. <laughs> but look who you get. You get Sparacorn. Woohoo, more spiders. Yeah, swag. Ugh, why did I say that? And then you get Rogan. Okay, Rogan, I have to say, I actually really do like Rogan. Like, I saw him. I forgot who posted a picture. I think it was Lago, which is L at G. O, right, I think, um, and he posted a picture of him from an event, and he's a very nice minifigure, he's very well made, I think he looks really cool, uh, and then you get, I, I'm guessing his sister, because usually, like, the females in the set, or in the scene are, like, sisters of other people, uh, but you get Rin, Rin, Rinna, Rinna, I can never pronounce that, uh, which looks, uh, <laughs> She's detailed, but she looks, like, really ugly <laughs> because she's a rhinoceros. Uh, but, yeah, so it's it's nice to get two exclusive minifigures, but then again, Rogan's coming in uh, Spinland's Cavern, so I can't really say that. Uh, but with those two, you get a spider, which was a spider. Um, and, yeah, he is exclusive to this set because he is that little spider that we saw in that book that leaked in, like, what was it, October, maybe, September. But yeah, uh, the two I like the minifigures. Uh, besides this guy right here, because I don't like spiders, like I said. Um, and I do like the coloring on this one, and I do like the wheels. But just that head, that head kind of ruins it for me. Um, but they can't really go without the head, so they're kind of between a rock and a hard place. No pun intended. So yeah, that's it. That's how I feel about that set. If it's twenty dollars, I would actually, I would consider out of all of them buying it. Uh, but if it's twenty five, I wouldn't really buy it. And if it was thirty, I would. I think it's a really bad set, actually. Um, and that piece is kind of interesting right there. I believe that appears in a, a Scorpion set. Maybe the one that's coming up next. We'll see. Uh, no, actually, it doesn't appear in this one, it looks like. Uh, but you can see this one. Scorn, Scorpion, Stinger. Now, Scorn is maybe like the head honcho villain of this wave. Um, and he is exclusive to the set. And the printing on him is not bad. And I could see him being really popular because he's going to be the main villain. Uh, and this is only set with Cragger besides his Legend Beast. So the only set with this version of Cragger, and only set with this version of Laval, um, which they both look cool, don't get me wrong, uh, but Scorm, I don't really like, I don't like the yellow, I think that looks kind of ugly, and it, or if it's gold, I think it looks ugly, whichever one, um, I only like, I don't even like them, I think the best Scorpions um, are the ones that have, that are darker, like black or whatever, um, but this one right here, is not really anything interesting to me. The build is really bad to me too. It just looks like it takes up too much space, much like that other set that I don't like. I don't, I don't even want to remember its name. Uh, but it, there's like nothing really going on that's really interesting about this one. Um, like I said, this part is so bulky, so it's it's going to be hard to fit anywhere. Um, and then this part right here is okay. Actually, I do like like this part right here. This little section is okay, uh, but this top part right here. You, it's ruined by this part right here, which I understand because it is a scorpion. Uh, but you got this little green part, which kind of like ruins it, which is a bowl shooter. So it's all for that bad little play feature. Uh, but these sides I don't like, like I said, and only the middle part. But then again, these little wheels are annoying too. So yeah, it's just kind of a, a mess of stuff, at least to me. I will give them props, though. I like how they're holding the little balls right there. You got two balls and they're holding it. I think that's kind of clever because I always lose those balls, you know. I'm I tend to lose balls. <sighs> tend to lose balls. If this is fifty dollars, which it probably is, I would say stay away from this set. 
this 40. I could see kids buying this. Now we're on to the speeders, and I, I, if anything's worse than the the actual vehicle sets of this wave, uh, I would have to say it's speeders because these are wow, these are like really bad. And I'm the speeders guy, right? I have all the speeders released, so I'm kind of obligated to get these. Like I'm, fe I feel like I'm obligated to get these, so I will be picking up all of these at the moment at least. Maybe I'll be persuaded because these look so bad. Wow, uh, the speeder right there, I know it's pearl gold. I know I sometimes like pearl gold, but I feel like even with uh, the, I think, wasn't LaGravis this beater pearl gold? Uh, but I feel like I'm going to feel the same way how I felt with silver, the silver one that Gorzan had, where it looks cool at, at, like in the actual pictures, uh, but once you take it out and you leave it, it, it's going to look like really bad. Like it just, it, instead of growing on you, it does the exact opposite. Uh, the build of this one is absolutely, wow, I mean, I, it's like a, a big tree trunk. I'm guessing they set it up for a play feature, obviously, because you put that and then you maybe you have to get the ball. Uh, but that just looks ugly because it doesn't fit any other like trees usually. Because trees in the Lego world, or at least in minifigure scale sets and stuff like that, are um, much thinner than this. But this one's such a huge trunk; it just looks sloppy and out of place um, and too bulky. You got these little things that's going to say "Dodge these to get an extra one or what? I don't even know. Uh, and it looks like they are trying to improve the little, the little. Uh, Little ramps, that's it, ramps, uh, with this part right here, which isn't bad. Uh, but, yeah, or no, that's not even a ramp. That I just noticed that. That's a connection, so that's not even a ramp. Uh, that's, I guess it's a creative connection. Actually, I, I don't think that connection's bad, uh, because it looks pretty cool if you connect it to the bottom. That's creative. I'll give them props for that. But this build, I think, looks ugly, even though I love trees. I love Lego trees. But this one is just too, it's too bulky. The, like, actual trunk is too bulky. That's my thoughts on that. Now we go on to this one, Bat Strike. Bat Strike, uh, I, did I like it at first? I don't remember. Uh, because this part right here I think looks ugly. Uh, because you got just this little kind of gate right here, which is a little bat gate. Bat gate, no, 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 bat gate. And what does it look like? It just looks like it's just this little part. And I, I'm so boggled that this is actually 101 pieces. I don't understand that. Uh, because that part just looks so small, but <laughs> if you see it, it uses these little parts right here. That reminds me of another set that's trying to raise up a piece count. <sighs> Why do I keep on talking about that set? But, like I said, this part, it just looks so pathetic. It's like a little, it's a, like a little gate. I'm, I'm not expecting, like, elaborate builds, but give me something like maybe even Ferdy's build. Ferdy's build was okay. It was just fine. I mean, it wasn't like the most, oh, look, that's a good build. Or some of the builds from the actual... Uh, January 2014, or sorry, January 2013 wave, because even though I didn't like those speeders at first, uh, those really grew on me. I, I really love the builds of those. I think target practice, uh, target practice is really impressive. Ring of Fire is probably like my favorite speeder build, uh, because I love that translucent ring. Um, and Chi Waterfall was actually not that bad because I, I like the waterfall build. Uh, but yeah, just give me something, a build like that. Don't give me like this little part that we're supposed to jump over because it looks absolutely lame. Um, I don't like the bats, you guys know that because I think they look too goofy. They're not like the spiders or the scorpions where I just, I don't like spiders or scorpions or anything that looks like an insects. Yes, I know they're not insects. Uh, but when it comes to the bats, I just, I don't like them because they look too goofy on their faces. Now, his speeder is pretty cool, don't get me wrong, because I do love purple, and I do love his ripcord. Uh, but the rest of the set is so disappointing, and I'm just going to get it just to be the completionist I am. Now, Web Dash. This one's another really crappy build. It's just a few webs. Woo, nothing special there. Uh, but you do get this little speeder right here, which I do like how they're trying to do something new with the speeder. Little crowns right there uh, by making kind of a different mold. Are these worse than the building sets, like I said? Or the vehicle sets, not even the building sets. I don't know. I'm going to really have to decide on these. And we'll decide with this one right here. This one is, it looks like, okay, this is Eris's. Eris's already has a speeder set, much like Gorzin, and they both had a speeder set in the same way, which was summer 2013. Why would I hesitate with that? Uh, but they have different speedors. Uh, but this one is, like, not even the updated version of uh, Eris, which looks really kind of pathetic. Uh, cause it, it, or it looks like it's half of the updated version, and then they didn't use the, her updated little part right there. Or is it updated? I don't even know. Um, but the build on this one's just kind of like a part of the Eagle Castle, which, in hindsight, it did the opposite, like I said. There has to be a word for that, where it didn't grow on me, but it did the opposite. It just got worse over time. Uh, and this looks exactly like the, It looks a lot like it with the little... Ex sans the little vines. Uh, but the parts right there, it's like, okay, I already have the Eagle Castle, which is a little bit better than this. 
So that's just kind of disappointing. Uh, this little jumping part right here is nothing special. Out of all the builds, though, I have to say maybe this one's the best. Uh, and that's not really saying a lot because it's still kind of crappy. And then on to this set. This is, like, the worst speed door build I've ever seen. Do you see it? Like, it's this is supposed to be $20. Keep in mind, $20, okay? $20. $20, okay? And you can see right there, it's... It's just this little part right here. There's nothing else to the set besides the minifigures. And people will say, well, the minifigures are because you get Shadow Wind. You get literally the lamest version of Shadow Wind. Why didn't they put his helmet and like i said that's just lavertus i mean it's obvious they should have just put his helmet like an alternate part in this set like put it right on the accessory make a new mold i don't care okay it, it, it doesn't hurt to make new molds you're making it for some crappy oh, sorry guys some bad speeder sets or whatever uh which are like these new speeder molds which ugh, they're not crappy it's just they could have used the new mold money to make just a mold for his helmet he would have looked so much better but now it looks like he's a half completed minifigure he reminds me of my homer I have right here, where he's a half-completed minifigure. All you got is a head. Well, this one's the opposite, because all you got is a torso. Uh, you got the torso shadow wind. So, whatever. Whatever at all. It sh they should have just... Ugh, they could have made it a separate piece. Just make a new mold. Make it in China. I don't care. Just put it out there. But nope. We got this dude, which is one of the better-looking scorpions, but even then, he doesn't even look that cool. Uh, because he got that gray going on with him. But I, I don't like the scorpion builds, because they look a lot like snakes. And the build in this one is so crappy for a $20 set. Like, I thought they couldn't get worse than the Sky Duel set, or Sky Battle set, or Chi Battles, which are the other $20 sets. But they literally got worse, like, really, with the build. Uh, their speeders are decent. I do like the black right there. And this one is... Eh. But, yeah, that's how I feel about all these uh, Chima sets. We go back to the beginning. I'm sorry I was ranting, and I'm sorry most of it is kind of a meaningless rant, because with the speeder sets, at least I'm going to get all of them. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Remember, if you're going to comment, comment something actually intelligent. Refute my points, you know. Don't be absolutely rude. Just say, okay, I don't agree with you here, blah, 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 because of why. But nope, if you're just going to say you suck or whatever, you know, just go off. Go off somewhere else. So I will see.